Hey, hey, hell divers! As you can see, I'm having fun with the latest update. Holy! Oh, <laughs> Woo! Clean. But that guy's not dying. <laughs> that only killed one. I know. Shocking. Who knew making a gun feel nice to shoot and powerful in a third-person shooter game? Fun. It's not like it's literally in the name. Anyways, they somehow managed to not make a single gun feel like dog water in this update. My working theory is, maybe this time, they asked the balance bringer himself for more advice on how to improve the weapon, and use it as a not-to-do list. Jokes aside, it is true that ever since the game first released and before the 17th September update, they adopted the most baffling weapon balancing mindset in a PvE game. It's nerf or nothing. The devs kept whack a mole metas, not understanding metas will always exist, it's in the name, most effective tactics available. You can replace the E for entertaining and it would also work in this case since it is entertaining, dare I say, fun to use powerful weapons in a PvE game. It is in our human DNA to optimize the shit out of every game and suck the fun out of it ourselves. Trying to go against such nature will only end in the majority of casual audience simply dropping the game due to the developers sucking the fun out of it before the players can. And that's what basically happened. People left. Every weapon that can deal with enemies are not intended by the balanced developers, therefore leaving the player base with the S-tier primary known as the Purifier. Arrowhead's motto is, a game for everyone is a game for no one. But they eventually realized from looking at the player counts, surveys, and various sources for feedbacks, they were actually just making a game for no one. Anyways, on to the actual video. The recoilless rifle is peak now. I love the sheer damage, the satisfying two-stage reload that can be cancelled with crouching, and the total annihilation if you decide to team reload it on bots. It has become my go-to support weapon to send anything that moves to the Shadow Realm. Before the update, you have to shoot a Bile Titan twice in the head to kill it. You might say, yeah, that's fair, Bile Titans will respawn anyways, right? Fucking hell. That took all my fucking ammo! A singular Bile Titan tanking that many anti-tank shots. Imagine if there's a second one! I would commit Alt F4. Bile Titan heads were bugged as hell, even if you aim it perfectly. Either the spit animation or just general unluckiness will screw you over. What? It bounced off! Oh my god, that is painful to watch. The anti-tanks in general were in a sad state before the buff. To give an example, the damage was so low, it couldn't even kill a regular Brute Commander, due to it only having 650 damage. Give or take, you can see about 20 of these cocks in difficulty 7 game. Two-shotting them is not an option, when you only have 6 shots in your backpack. Imagine firing a high-explosive anti-tank shell the size of a 1-year-old baby, and yet failing to kill an oversized cockroach. I would drop that shit faster than the purifier. Before the big buff patch, the damage on the Eat Quasar and RR were shared. Therefore, all of them have the same amount of kill potential. Now they are separated, with the spear having the highest, RR the second highest, the third are Quasar and Eat sharing the same damage, and fourth is Commando and Patriot's Rocket having the lowest damage. The damage alone on the Patriot's Rocket made me have to scrap the mech video I've been working on since it completely changed the breakpoints. I'm not mad, I'm fuming. With that damage, you can expect the RR to one-shot anything that's alive in this game by hitting its weak points, or two-shot it from anywhere. Aside from its solid performance, it also feels good to shoot. It can destroy fabricators from far away, and if you aim it at the body of a dropship, yes, it kills the dropship occupants. And because of all those compounding factors, the recoilless is not only viable to use against bots, it's actually quite effective. It is a drastic change, as no one used it against bots in the previous patch due to its low damage. The anti-tanks were weirdly more effective on bugs since Bile Titans and Chargers were class 5 armor while the boss always have the AP for weak points. Except the Barrager tank, but that's the exception, not the rule. I hate those things. But good news, if you do decide to bring the RR to the bots, aim at their head rocket silo thing. It's a one-shot, but don't rejoice too soon. Since they buff the health and the front armor of the tanks, the Rocket Eagle, the 500kg, and even the OPS can't reliably one-shot them anymore. 
This is a huge blow to Eagles, and I will be saving this for another video. In conclusion, the RR has become the first delete key we have in the game. Does this make the game easier? Yeah. Does this make it more fun? Absolutely! You no longer have to experience the frustration of using a weapon that can't even do its job properly. And if you haven't tried out the recoilless because of the recent railgun buff, and that's the only support weapon you've been using, I suggest giving the recoilless a try. Final rating, this gun is a 10 out of 10 on both factions. Just watch out for cannon turrets and tank hits. Yeah. You gotta aim for the barrel or the side to one-shot it. If not, it's a two-shot, but you know, it's fine. More review to come, so stay tuned. I stream on Twitch, bye-bye. Yo, yo, welcome to the Update Corner. I'm currently working on a bigger video, and I haven't been uploading in a while. So I might as well yap about the biggest change that made me switch off the puny AP4 weaponry. The mech video is now delayed indefinitely, gotta gather more data and probably delete the old patch videos that I painstakingly gathered. But oh well, thanks for sticking around till the end. Have a democratic day, that's about it. See ya. Yeah.